Parker. You nosy Parker. So is there something good going on in there then? Oh, it's just my mum. Oh, right. Do you want me to get her to come outside? No, no, it's all right. So, uh, what's your name then? Don. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dawn. Dawn who? Don't let me see you around here again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scott. Hi, Scott. You're right. So, uh, looks like she's going to be a while, so I think I'll get off. Okay. See you later, alligator. Let it out. I was supposed to be looking after her. It wasn't your fault. If I'd have just woken up, I could have stopped it. Scott, listen. Look, I don't know if this helps, but I lost my mum too. In a similar way. She was murdered. And for ages I thought, well, it must have been my fault. That, 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 that must have been something that I could have done. But it wasn't my fault. It's not yours either. Mum always uh, put my clothes for all it is and that. Yeah. You mean too. Come on. Let's get out of here. Where have you been? We've been doing a big search, trying to find out if anyone saw anything last night. Right, well, um, I mean, can I help searching anything? No, no, not really. Look, your dad will be back soon. He's going to need some help. It'll be hard for him. So what you did? Look after your dad? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Did they, um, find the man that killed your mum? No. No, they didn't. Scott! Come out of there! Leave me alone! Look, I'm not joking. I'm coming in there! Yeah? I'll kill her as well. Scott? Mm -hmm. It's Rachel Dawson. We talked this morning. Mm -hmm. What is it you want? Mm -hmm. Is it about your dad? Scott, talk to me. I want Joe. Hey, this is no good, is it? Um, I'm going away. Where to? Not telling you. can drive me. Why did you do it, Scott? I thought it'd be hard. But it wasn't. You know, it's, uh, it's dead easy killing someone. <laughs> you, you did it. Dead. Dead easy. <laughs> This. This is a brand new car. Excellent. Wonderful. And... Guess what? Oh, not again. I should have bought a nearly new one. One that had been running. Why didn't I? You can take the mickey, but it does add up. Like the thing the other week with the light bulb. She says... She's enough to frighten anyone. She says she won't come and stop again after last time. Do you remember? Cameron cried all night and there was no reason for Bond. it. Babies cry. The temperature drops. That's because there's a draft. Yes, but where does it come from? I just want to know if there's some spirit thing here that's wanting to be, you know, released. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, John, is he? I think you're being rash wanting to sell up. Surely being haunted oh. adds to the value of a place like this. Keep telling her. Yeah, well, in theory, has been very upset. 
Oh, what? What? It was Rufus and his friend Derry who took the afternoon off school and did the upside down coffee table thing. Oh, you've got to see the funny side is. Or not. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Is it? Put that down. Custard. Is it? No. Oh, no. No. Rufus, run! Today, this could be the greatest day of my life because I'm joined now by Take That Two ahead of their show at the Palace Theatre this Saturday. Thanks for coming in, lads. No problem. It's great nice to meet you. Let's introduce you to everyone at home. We've got Howard, Gary, yeah. Mark, and Jason. Mannerisms, you've got them off to a tee, it's uncanny. How many hours worth of sat down studying them has it gone into perfecting that routine? We all just take it so seriously that so many people, especially because the band is still performing today, you could get someone that goes see them the night before and then come and see us. It needs to be as tight as possible, I think. Yeah. So we really, it's a big job to really, and we constantly learn new stuff as well. There's always a new DVD to come and watch. So. Pause, rewind, pause, rewind, pause, rewind. Yeah. Is that how we get it? Literally, all day. We do haircuts as well, actually, wouldn't we? Haircuts as well. We do the haircut, my mum did us see. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and we were there with the DVD, every, every angle we could get. Have a little patience, yeah. I can't keep doing this, Jamie. Oh, I never asked for you. You live with me. I'm your guardian. No, but Dean's right. I've hardly seen them at all lately. How about next week? Oh, no, I can't do next week. Is my mum here? Have you got my stuff ready? Oh, look, Val, I'm going to have to go. Val! Val! <sighs> Taxi's due in five minutes. I told you to pack your bag last night. Oh, you do my head right in. And leave your bedroom tidy. What's up with you? We're both going into care. Don't be soft. I heard her talking to Uncle Dean. Who? Nan. The way been showing off lately, I could hardly blame her. <sighs> Nan and Grandad stopped us going into care. You don't remember what it was like living with Mum? She left in a car once. Shoplifting or something. I don't even know whose car it was. How were they? Hmm? Just a baby. I just remember my feet being so cold. Unlike your feet. You stink all the time. <sighs> Get lost. Mum! Gonna happen, is it? I don't get it. It's just you've always loved stuff like that. It's just something you're saying. It's never gonna happen. I mean it though. Go on, let's go. But it'll be fun. I've sat by my bedroom window for hours and hours waiting for your mum. <sighs> I've got work to do. I mean it this time. 
promise stuff. And it never happens. I won't. I promise. I mean, I promise not to promise. <sighs> Am I coming home after court on Thursday? Yes. This time. If you get upset, you've got to come and talk to me. I know, I just... I don't know what to say sometimes. When I've had a drink, it... I don't have to think about things. But then I just get angry. This nonsense. It's going to have to stop, Jamie. I know. But I want it to. Right, then. Have you ever had a whole finger of chocolate? No wafer. <laughs> well, a few. <laughs> <laughs>